Welcome to the MindView 6 Quick Start video. In this video, you will learn how to create a mind map, how to make text notes, how to attach files, how to customize the mind map, and how to export the mind map to Microsoft Word. To begin using MindView, first launch the application, then select the file menu to locate the new backstage view. I can select from my six interchangeable mind mapping views, such as mind map, top down, left right, timeline, outline, or Gantt chart. I also have the ability to review standard templates that come preloaded with MindView by left clicking on the folder and going into that specific subfolder, such as company management. To create a new mind map, simply left click the new mind map icon. The central idea or subject is known as the root. The root is where all main branches will begin. To rename the subject to something specific, simply left click on the desired branch. And in this case, we're going to type agenda. I left click off of the root to deselect it. To create additional branches attached to the root, I have three methods. I can simply choose the branch icon to start creating my main level branches. I can left click and choose to insert a branch or sub branch or I can utilize the keyboard shortcuts. The keyboard shortcuts are enter to create main branches and insert to create sub branches. Now that we've learned how to build main levels and sub levels, let's talk about reorganizing the mind map. Anytime you want to rearrange a branch, simply left click on that branch and drag the branch to its new location. Main branches can become sub branches and sub branches can in turn become main branches. To expedite this tutorial, let's open a pre-existing MindView file. In this case, we've created a detailed meeting agenda, starting with opening remarks, continuing with welcome, purpose, and minutes from the last meeting. It is important to understand what we define as the branch hierarchy, and in MindView, it goes clockwise around the mind map view. To better visualize the branch hierarchy, I simply choose numbering scheme from the home tab, and I select my desired numbering scheme. As you can see, the visual branch order has now been created in a clockwise manner. As branches are rearranged, the numbering scheme is automatically updated. MindView is an extremely powerful and robust tool, allowing you to quickly create a mind map and convert that MindView document into several different styles or formats. Some of the standard formats that are included are Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, Excel, Microsoft Project, and so on. Each of the individual branches would in turn be exported as a section of Word, a slide in PowerPoint, or a row in a Microsoft project file. To continue the development of the mind map, let's take a look at the Insert tab. Whenever I'd like to insert a specific object to a branch, I can select the Insert tab from the ribbon and locate my desired object. In this case, we're going to include a text note. A text note allows me to use a standard word processing format to include text information to be applied to the selected branch. In this case, I've selected Welcome, and I choose Text Note. Once the Text Note editor has been launched, you can now see that we have a Microsoft Word-friendly ribbon to help customize the data. I simply left-click in the Text Note editor field and type my desired text. In this case, we've entered a welcome message for the group. By collapsing the Text Note editor using the small x, I can now see that MindView has attached the text note to the welcome branch, and I can hover the small paperclip icon and left-click the pop-up to display that text information. This is extremely handy for taking notes within an agenda, describing content that belongs in a written document, or even describing tasks that may belong to a project file. To continue through the Insert ribbon, we can choose to take a look at the Attachment functionality. Attaching objects to a MindView branch allows it to use MindView as a simplified document management system. In this case, I'm going to attach the minutes from the last meeting as a PDF file. I select the minutes from last meeting branch and select attachment from the insert ribbon. By navigating to the correct location on my computer, I can find the desired file that I'd like to attach, left click and choose open. In a similar manner, you will now see a small paperclip icon attached to the minutes from last meeting branch and I can left-click the pop-up to display that attachment. This will work for Microsoft Office files, image files, PDF files, video files, and so on. 
To edit an existing attachment with regards to text notes, I can simply choose the desired branch and display the text note and add the new text as needed. To edit an existing attachment, I can simply right click and choose to edit the link to find the new branch attachment or simply choose to delete it and follow the initial process of attaching a document file type. Let's continue with creating one additional branch attachment by simply left clicking on the financial branch, navigating back to that insert tab, and choosing the attachment icon. Now a quick tip, under the home tab the most frequently used tools are available and here you can also find the attachment icon. You can also choose to right click on a branch and choose to insert a branch attachment. All three methods give you the same end results. Again I navigate on my computer, locate the desired file and simply choose open. To access and launch that file I can hover the small paper clip and left click that file attachment. Now that we've learned how to build the mind map, let's take a look at customizing the way the mind map looks. As stated earlier, MindView is built around six interchangeable views. Under the View tab, I can select different ways to view the mind map data. I can choose the top down view, I can choose the left to right view, I have a linear outline view. And I have additional views, such as Timeline and Gantt Chart, which we'll get to in a later tutorial. For this example, I'm going to continue working in the Mind Map view. If I'd like to change the style of the Mind Map, I can choose the Design tab. The Design tab allows me to select from several styles that are already pre-made. By hovering the small icons, you can see a live preview or update down below. Partnering the styles with the different layouts can give you a unique desired effect. Although there are several pre-made styles that you can choose from, I can also choose to change the colors of an existing style. Under the Design tab, I have the ability to choose different styles under the Color Scheme icon, and as you notice, all main branches are changing corresponding to the selected item. If I wanted to be more specific, I can choose to left-click a desired branch and access the Format tab, allowing me to change that individual branch's properties. This can be beneficial for grouping items within a mind map or separating the items to allow clear understanding of the different topics. To further enhance the visualization of the mind map, you can easily choose to include images. Images can be included under the Multimedia Catalog by left-clicking the tab, opening the clip art, and locating the specific folder that you'd like to associate data from. I also have the ability to search for various types in the search field. In this case, we will search for meeting. Here I can choose to left-click and drag an item out into the root of the mind map. I also have the ability to include custom images to a branch by selecting that desired branch, going to the Insert tab, and choosing to insert my own custom branch picture. Now that we've completed the creation of the mind map, let's export the mind map, or in this case the agenda, to Microsoft Word. If you recall from the beginning of the presentation training, the numbering scheme was applied to visualize the hierarchy, in this case the clockwise order of the branches. That, in turn, will become the section order of the agenda when exported to Word. Each individual element that's been attached to the various branches will show up in that corresponding section in Word. To export to Microsoft Word, I choose the File menu. I choose Export from the drop-down, and I select my desired program, in this case, Microsoft Word. I simply can choose Quick Export to quickly export to Microsoft Word using the prior settings within MindView or I can choose to customize my export using the advanced word export. For this tutorial, we will simply choose Quick Export. Once the export has been completed, I can simply choose to open the document directly from MindView. Once in Microsoft Word, we can review the information we created, starting with the name of our project, which is the root. We can see the individual style that we picked, in this case, the visual agenda. I have a table of contents built directly from that branch order, and I can navigate through the agenda by hitting Control and left-clicking. In this case, the additional 
Text notes and attachments are located in their represented sections. The welcome message, the minutes from the last meeting, and even the attached revenue projections. All can be launched by double left clicking on the desired link from the Microsoft Word document. As you can see, this is why MindView is such an effective agenda and presentation tool. Thank you for your time and attention in reviewing the MindView 6 Quick Start video. Please be sure to check out our other tutorials to learn more advanced functionality from the new MindView 6.